We should do a vacation break, tell everyone what we did. Went on separate vacations. Yes, yes. And did the cruise thing. I went on the cruise. And I did the uh, the Club Med thing mm -hmm. down in Turks and Caicos, a great spot. Because Opie's uh, into uh, scuba diving. Yeah. Oh, you want me to tell that story right you're off the bat? You're a big scuba diver <laughs> now. All right, I'll tell the scuba diving one. This Turks is, and Caicos. This is going to help the, the psycho factor in my head bit. I can't believe you. <laughs> yeah, I went to Turks and Caicos because I wanted to do some diving. I dove all week. I'm I'm a beginner diver. I only have about ten dives under my belt, so I'm not going to mm -hmm. act like I'm Jacques Cousteau or anything. I had to go diving with... What, dead? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm no Jacques Cousteau. I, I, I agree. So uh, one day, uh, well, I just want to start this uh, little story by saying um, French people suck. Ah. Hate them. It's very international when you go away like that, Opie. And, and There's they, a lot of people from a lot of countries. And they should talk their girlfriends into shaving their armpits. <laughs> That's acceptable that, in that, Europe. That's what you want to see at, uh, on a Club Med vacation. French girls with big, gnarly, sweaty, black underarm hair. Man, that's attractive. And there you can only imagine if that looks like that. What is uh Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I had a problem with this couple pretty much the whole time. So, French uh, couple. French couple, and they didn't speak English. Yeah, we... So I go diving. This was like midweek. And... Uh, <laughs> This is kind of <laughs> this is a good story. All right, so uh, I I I start my descent to the bottom of the ocean. To the bottom of the ocean, Opie. Well, they only take you 60 feet, but that is the bottom where we're going. Bottom of that part of the ocean, sure. sure. You know, and then you get to go over some ridges and stuff where it's a little deeper, but whatever. So you're with a guy. Now I've I've done about nine or ten dives, like I said. So it it was quicker for me to get to the bottom than like the guys that are doing their first or second dive. Okay, you're feeling more comfortable. Feeling a little better. comfortable. So I'm uh, I'm at the bottom. Of the ocean, waiting for the my fellow divers, because you got to dive in a group. Bottom of the ocean. Because I'm not really certified. Yeah, 60. <laughs> got your tanks on. You're looking good. <laughs> yes. All right. And I'm just looking around. I'd like the fish and stuff. Go, all right, cool. I can't wait to start the dive. Here comes uh, the French guy. <laughs> what is this, a group up point or something? You all descend to the bottom of the well, ocean. Well, I mean, if you want to get technical, you got to descend to the 15-foot bar for a while, mm -hmm. hang out there, and then you, you drop from there. But eventually you're on the yeah. bottom of the ocean. Yeah, as soon as they said drop from the bar, it took me, whatever, 10 seconds to get to the bottom oh, of our left. Okay. Do a little equalizing, and you're, you're sure. down there ready to go. So I'm uh, at the bottom, 60 feet under, and here comes the French guy. That doesn't speak English that has the girlfriend with the hairy armpits that I just hated from the first day I, I saw him at the club. And now he's new because he got to go through the whole orientation Without thing. Without a doubt, this guy uh -huh. was probably making his first dive. Uh-huh. Maybe second tops. Mm hmm So he starts coming down, and I look above, and I'm like, hello, I'm right here. Where was he looking? He wasn't looking. That's uh -oh. the problem. Okay. So I look up, I'm like, the son of a bitch is, is heading right for me. Come right for us! <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> And do, I, do I have the clip of Opie uh, somewhere? <laughs> I, I I think I do. Here's Opie uh, under the on the bottom of the ocean. Right. It's coming right for us! <laughs> oh wow! But see, this is how this is how twisted my head is. I'm, yeah, thanks, Dick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I obviously could have probably moved and let him just land softly on the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, I was, but I'm, I wanted to see where this was going to go. Mm -hmm. So I look up, and I'm like, he's getting closer, he's getting closer. Is he going to move? Is he going to move? He doesn't move. His fin pretty much takes out the left side of my face. Hard. Boom. So his fin, he kicks you yeah. in the side of the head. Yeah. Now, does your regulator move or something? No, no, no. no. no you're you're under there. No, because that would have been a whole different problem. Mm -hmm. Then we would have taken it on land. That's what yeah. I'm going to say. <laughs> we would have. Okay. Usually you have to take it down to street level. Oh, okay. We would have taken it on land. On land. You'll, un so, you'll understand in a minute. So he kicks you in the face. Yeah, pretty much the left side of like my forehead here. It was like it was. Did the mask come loose? Did anything like not, or right on the side of the head? Right on the side of the head, oh. mostly. He came down like this. Okay. Oh. All right. So. <laughs> so I'm like, look, look at that, and I, I'm I'm a little pissed. Let me get this straight. A French guy went down on OP. No, <laughs> no, no. A house from Flanders, New Jersey. <laughs> Listen to the rest of the story. <laughs> yeah. So he hits me. But, see, his legs were flailing as he's going down to the bottom. So that, that to me, was like, okay, he's a beginner, a, a beginner. I'll give him a little slap. Right, he's freaking a little. But, boom, Finn hits me on the left side of the head. He continues his descent. Now he's basically, here comes the, the jokes, but he's basically on top of me. Okay? All right. His tank now nails my hip. 
And if Wait, now he's, he's coming down. He's, he's still coming ahead. down. He's still coming down. Now the heavy tank nails me in the side. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, I mean, I could show you a bruise, but everyone, everyone's going to call me a fag for pulling my pants down. But trust me, he's there. <laughs> All right. But if you need to see it, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll carefully show you the bruise. Really bad. So uh, hold on to your seats, kids. <laughs> Your pal O. <laughs> what is, at this point, I give him the I, I I don't give him the benefit of the doubt, but I'm just waiting for like a look of wow. You know, I'm sorry, I'm out of my mind. I don't know what I'm doing. But he's French. Except my apology. Yeah, but it doesn't matter what language mm -hmm. you you speak. You can look at a guy and you could give him something with your facial reaction. So you're still willing to play this off as he's a beginner. But I'm heated. But now I'm, you're pissed. I'm heated on the bottom of the ocean. He he looks at me. We're 60 feet under. Okay. Right. He looks at me, and he doesn't give me anything. Uh -oh. Nothing. You know when someone cuts you off and does a stupid move on the road, but you can almost see through it if they kind of give you that, ah, okay, that look like, I know right. I screwed up, I'm really sorry, right. please forgive me. You're still a little pissed, but at least they acknowledged it. Yes. The guy didn't acknowledge it, and that really pissed me off. Yeah. <laughs> so I punched him in the head. <laughs> you, punch, <laughs> you punch the French guy in the head. Now... You're on the bottom of the ocean, 60 feet under. I, I start a fight with a French guy. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Every year I have to punch someone in the head because I was just thinking. It, like, it's been a year since I, I popped Paul in, uh, in the head in the studio, Paul Bond. Wouldn't that have been funny if it was actually Paul Bond <laughs> diving down and Opie punched him in the head? Now, where did you hit him? Right on the side of the head. All right, in the side of that, you made sure you didn't hit his regulator or his mat. I was, I was just going for the headshot. Or you didn't even care. You just no, happened to no, land I on didn't, the side. No, I didn't care. No, because the rest, sick cause the rest of the body is pretty much protected with the vest and the tank, uh -huh. and you got a, a wetsuit on, you know. So I, I pop him on the side of the head. Now you're sitting there like, oh my God, you know, wow, you're so brave and stuff. Yeah, obviously it was a slow motion fight because we're 60 feet under the water. Can't really get a good punch flying underwater. Even James Bond had difficulty <laughs> I, in the I, movie. I couldn't get my weight behind the punch. Why? <laughs> it was just kind of. But it made me feel good. And were you standing up at this point? Uh, sort of, yeah. Your your feet are kind of touching like, the sand at the bottom of the ocean. I was probably just above the sand. All they right. wanted to stay off the bottom. Man. Right, and right. Away, and away from the coral and stuff. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> yeah, it was like a $6 million <laughs> man fight. In slow motion, I punch him in the side of the head, the French guy. He proceeds to push me. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're getting into you're into you're throwing down. Yeah. You're throwing down <laughs> sixty feet underwater. Sixty feet underwater with a Frenchie. Which quite frankly is, you know, kinda of scary. I like I said, I'm only uh, ten dives into my little diving career, so it's still a little <laughs> fighting. <laughs> I'm fighting and you can't fight underwater like that. So he tr he pushes me, but it's, you know, obviously the effort just isn't really there because you you're not on solid ground <laughs> and you're in sixty feet under the water. Right. So that's when I uh attempted to tackle him. Because your instincts take over. <laughs> now, if you're on land, Aquaman. If you're on land, if you're on land, every fight starts with a couple punches, maybe a couple pushes, and then you, you get down into hopefully wrestling and throwing someone down to the ground, right? So how will Aquaman <laughs> handle this? So my instincts take over. I'm like, all right, well, I, I got to fight now. So <laughs> no matter where you are, I attempt to tackle him. <laughs> so now what? Uh, you uh, bring me through it. How did you uh, go to tackle? I I just kind of went forward. <laughs> Forward, of course. And, uh, you know, I tried to, to grab him and knock him down, realizing that it just wasn't going to work. At this point, the uh, the guide had to break us up. He's breaking <laughs> up a fight 60 feet underwater. Yes. <laughs> Aquaman then whistled for his seahorse and rode off. Now, I don't think the the guide saw everything that was going on. Oh, the rest of the people in our group definitely. They were watching? Oh, yeah. Placing some bets? Oh, yeah. I'd have been like, this is the coolest thing I'll ever see underwater. I don't care if a goddamn mermaid swims by right now. This is a brawl. Wait, this guy's got a similar story. I thought, I was, I thought this was quite unique. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Tony, what's going on? What's up, boys? Hey. Hope kicking ass underwater. <laughs> that something similar, similarly happened to me in Cancun. Yeah. The guy, instead of, like, hitting me with the flapper, fooled me like an elbow shit right to the head. Yeah. So instead of, like, retaliating that way with fists, I just ripped the dude's oxygen right off. The dude almost drowned. <laughs> now, that, I think, could be attempted murder. Like him, dude. I ain't taking a shot to the nose. My nose, I'm bleeding underwater. 
I'm just, like foggy for two days. I was like, <laughs> you know, and I think this type of thing happens uh, more often than you think because the, the the dive guy, the guy that goes with you, he wants his group close together because he's got to you know watch you, got to watch everybody. And, and you know, some of these guys when they're doing their first or second, I'm gonna say it again. I'm only ten dives in, but I feel a little more comfortable under the uh, water. I mean, their arms and stuff are flailing. They're freaking out because it's the first time they're underwater. Will from Staten Island checking in. You're yeah. breaking the rules. He said, uh, the first rule of Underwater Fight Club is you don't talk about Underwater <laughs> Fight Club. <laughs> underwater <laughs> Fight Club. <laughs> Island Dirt. <laughs> it was great, though. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 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 What is your problem? <laughs> Underwater Fight Club. So then, yeah, then the guy, you know, he broke us up and we went, went on our dive. I'm convinced he didn't see the whole thing because I think he would have brought us all back to the top. And then the rest of the dive, any time he got close to me, I just kind of pushed him off. Well, I would stay away from you at that point thinking you were a, uh, a complete lunatic. All right. Who fights underwater? Now, every contact the guy made with you, Opie, was accidental. Careless, stupid... But it wasn't intentional. Every contact you made with him was intentionally to hurt this gentleman. Hey, I snapped. No, I no, no, no. Water. No, because there was a bunch of other things I could have done. Turn off his air hose. That would have freaked him out a little bit. <laughs> Did you take into consideration where you were when you decided then you were going to tackle this guy? And I, I can't believe he is tackling me. <laughs> Let me just this lunatic. Let me make it perfectly clear. It looked completely ridiculous. You're right. Yeah. Nothing got done. There was no, there was no, uh, you know. No one really getting hurt. Yeah. It's just the fact that I snapped 60 feet under the water and punched a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like hitting him with, like, marshmallows or something. But uh, Yeah, yeah, you can't really get a punch going. So then the rest of the time, I would just give this guy the dirtiest looks around the, the resort. And he just acted like, you know... His ass didn't stink. Well, he's probably right now on some French radio show going, and I kicked his ass. <laughs> I punched him so hard he got their bleed. <laughs> Jay Moore Buddy on the uh, instant feedback, also wondering if uh, you pulled any of the underwater Matrix moves, because you're kind of suspended there. You could have you done the cool Matrix moves underwater and scared the pee out of him. My God, oh, no, it is Matrix. It, no damage was... <laughs> No damage was done. It was just the fact that I snapped underwater. It, it, Neo. It frightened me. <laughs> Neo, right. You know, you could get up, put your arms up, and then spin around. In place, looking bad. Hey, Dave, what's going on? Yo, I have to ask you, because, you know, I've been on dives before. What did you do when you got back up to the surface? Yeah, I wish I had a good end to the story. Uh, nothing, really. I just It was a big boat with a lot of other divers, and we just kind of avoided each other. Oh, you're kidding me. No, I mean, I got... I, I, I got uh, uh, enough pleasure just trying to punch some guy in the face underwater, man. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, Dave. Bye, bye bye. Good job. And you couldn't talk to the guy because, like, I, I started the story off. The guy was French. Didn't speak a, a word of English. No. <laughs> Scuba fight. Great. <laughs> yeah, All right. Uh, how to fight scuba style from Rich and Forest Hills. Flood his mask. While he's blind, release his weight belt. Swim away and enjoy your dive. Because nice. <laughs> the guy go right to the surf. Nice. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really good idea. You actually started it. The guy accidentally hits you. I understand he hurt Why? his uh, hip and stuff. Why? But it was his own inexperience and, you know, inconsideration to not say anything. You threw the first punch in anger. He never punched me. He <laughs> never punched like me. A, he's underwater. His first dive, he's probably petrified. Like a wussy push. Like a All girl. of a sudden, I saw this brown substance <laughs> oozing from his suit. <laughs> <laughs> so I hit him because he was close to me. Should have picked up some fire coral and cut him. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Like Sea Hunt. Right. Like an old episode of Sea Hunt. Get the knife out of your leg and cut his air hose. That's what he always did. <laughs> Hope he had lifeless eyes, like a doll's eyes. <laughs> Were you hearing the music, Opie? <laughs> <laughs>
I'm getting pounded. <laughs> <laughs> and he ain't taking an Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Frenchy. Here comes Frenchy. And your goyle is hairy. Oh. Oh, give it a left and a right. I'll kick Brutus's ass. Papa used to do some of that underwater fighting. Underwater, but he ate the spinach and like his arms would go really fast. And he can make his feet go on his pipe like a propeller and go like a torpedo into the guy. So why don't you do that? I forgot about that. Need me spinach. 